Senator Feinstein, what was the key takeaway in your view from Director Comey's testimony today? Well, my key t takeaway was the FBI has lost a very good man and a very good leader. That's my key takeaway. Um, I, I think it's pretty clear he uh, refused to lay off of the Flynn uh, investigation. He refused to uh, l raise the cloud or stop the Russia investigation. And he refused to pledge loyalty uh, to a president. And for that, he got fired. And that's really too bad. That's not what this country is about. And the FBI should be set. And it should function based on law and not based on the political nature of a presidency. I want to play one of your exchanges with uh, Mr. Comey about that February 14th Oval Office meeting when, when Director Comey says that the president asked him to drop the Flynn investigation. Here's the question. You're big, you're strong. I know the Oval Office and I know uh, what happens to people when they walk in. There is a certain amount of intimidation. But why didn't you stop and say, Mr. President, this is wrong. I cannot discuss this with you. It's a great question. Maybe if I were stronger, I would have. I was so stunned by the conversation that I just took it in. And the only thing I could think to say, because I was playing in my mind, because I was going to remember every word he said, I was playing in my mind, what should my response be? And that's why I very carefully chose the words. And look, I, I've seen the tweet about tapes. Lordy, I hope there are tapes. Should he have done more in, in that moment or even in, in the aftermath? Should he have uh, alerted more people about it or come to, to Congress? Well, I do think he should have said, look, Mr. President, this is inappropriate. I can't discuss this with you. We can talk about other things, but I can't talk about this. Do you believe the White House has a taping system? Uh, I'd sure like to see it if they have it. And um, uh, we may do something about trying to see if they do. Uh, but right now, uh, I, I candidly just don't know. What, at one point, your colleague, Republican Senator Tom Cotton, brought up past statements that you had made to CNN about not yet seeing any evidence of collusion between the Trump campaign and Russians. Is that still accurate? Yes, Have it's still accurate. We're in an investigative phase. Uh, we haven't heard all the evidence. We're just beginning, and there's a lot more work to do. I know there's a rush to judgment, but it's going to take time to do it. And the fair thing is not to make a judgment until you can see all the evidence in one place ask questions and make judgments and come to a conclusion. And that's the only fair way to do it, in my mind, Anderson. And so I would say the same thing today about collusion uh, that I said whatever it was a month ago or so. And I know you can't discuss the specifics of what Director Comey told you and your colleagues in this afternoon's classified session. Can you say whether he gave you more of the detail you were looking for and if it leads you further in one direction or another? Well, I can say this. There was an opportunity for members to ask questions. And so members ask the questions that they had that they couldn't ask uh, in the public session. You, That's you really all I can say. Sure. You, you finally, you heard the president's private attorney say this afternoon that James Comey testimony was a vindication of the president. Is that how you see it? Is it a vindication not of the president? At, not at all. Not at all. Um, I actually tend to believe Comey, and um, I, I think all of this could have been avoided. And the tragedy is that the United States government and the people, uh, the 30,000 employees of the FBI, lost a good leader over this. And I very much regret that. And I really hope the president does too. But I'll say this, if the new nominee wants to pledge loyalty to the president and won't maintain the kind of independence that has been the hallmark of the FBI, I certainly won't vote for him uh, when he comes before us. Senator Feinstein, I appreciate your time. Thank you.